welcome to the pew. The pew, live from the sick ward. Sick ward. This is the sickest. And this time we really are sick. This is the sickest ward there is. And when we say sick, we don't mean something really cool, fabulous, or edgy, or do we? No, we don't. We don't. Don't don't be so near me. Well, if this is just this is my port. <laughs> I was, I'm not in the mood for port wine. <laughs> As you might have surmised, we're not in our usual location. There's no pew poster behind us. In fact, it's a sanitized wall. Sanitized wall of a sanitarium. <laughs> Michael's in the hospital. I've got my protective gloves on, so I don't catch whatever it is that he has. Mercy, mercy me. And we're celebrating our 500th episode. Lord have mercy! With a life-threatening disease. <laughs> well, what better way to celebrate a show like a pew? Right, instead of, uh, instead of wishing Michael to break a leg, you could, lose bears. <laughs> you could uh, wish him to lose a leg. Which he almost did when he had surgery. Yes, yesterday. Two days. Was it yesterday? I don't know, today's Thursday. I get the day the days are all... Are all uh, on the other. I think it was uh, Tuesday that I came in, complaining of chest pains. And then there was something wrong with your leg. Yeah, stop not touching it. I'm, I'm, I'm picking at this gas. <laughs> well, can you stop that for I'm, our show? I'm touching it and picking at this cab. <laughs> Just like cover it with a pick, pick, a pick, 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 pick. Yeah, so what happened was um, the, um, the infection has jumped from one leg to the other. It, it's now um, on my left knee instead of my right thigh. And um, when it appeared, it, it, we noticed it at James Memorial, by the way. Um, I friend Ryan, a friend of ours, um, was, um, died the other day. And, um, which is something else I want to have to talk to you about because we haven't seen each other in a long time. And some things have uh, surfaced about that. Yeah, it's been about a month since we last recorded an episode. Sorry for the lag, uh, but, you know, we were busy. Uh, I've been sick. I've had bronchitis for a month now, so that kind of kept me from coming last week. Well, so I was at the memorial, and, um, and I, I felt like I banged my knee into a table or something, and um, Patrick, uh, the, my friend who used to, I used to live with, uh, Pat, uh, the doctor in Brooklyn, he was at the dinner, and he said, um, he looked at it, and he said, Mark, we have to go to the hospital right now. And, um, I went to the urgent care and uh, they wrote me a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a, um, uh, discharge, my discharge papers. Um, and it was actually kind of funny, it said that it said go to ER, because I told them that I need, they told me I need to go to the ER, and I said, well, first, you know, I need to go and get my laptop and my, my, my you know, recharger for my phone and everything. And they, they were on the discharge paper, they said, go to ER immediately, do not delay, do not go home to get your laptop, go to ER, go there right now. Um, and then they had somebody actually take me because they didn't believe I was going to go. It was for your own good. It was for my own good. So I went and they recognized it right away for what it was and they gave me vancomycin, the IV. Thing. And they only kept me for a day. And the next day they sent me home with the lesser um, strength um, clindamycin, the pills. Um, and the, What are those, antibiotics? Yeah. Okay. And the, um, the, the infection came back, um, like but almost right away. And so I came uh, to this hospital instead. This is um, Cornell Medical Center. It's a nicer hospital. As you see, um, the room is kind of like a... Uh, like, like a private suite. It is. It's like, it's like a, uh, a studio apartment. Uh, it's paid by the government of Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabian government has paid for this hotel um, so they can send people from, um, who are sick from Saudi Arabia to be treated in the lap of luxury. There's like a four-star chef. They have like, like um, you know, like beef burger yarn, like, you know, all kinds of, like, uh, um, things. Well, it is the Upper East Side. Yeah, I know. So, um... So where else would you eat beef burger yarn? Beef, yes. <laughs> so, um, so here I am, and um, they say I might have to go home tomorrow. I'm not if, sure. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday, since Monday or Tuesday. When did they do the surgery? The, right when I got here. So what exactly was the surgery? Like you, they didn't cut your leg off. I see it's still no. There. They had to cut my leg open though to um to go in and, and they just scraped out all the scraped out. <laughs> yeah, I know. They gave me lots of Dilaudid and Oxycontin, uh, but I was still awake and I could see it, but I couldn't feel it, mm -hmm. which is really the eerie. 
Yeah, that's you're looking at it and having no, a conversation no. with them, and they're they're like they're trying to there's somebody over here trying to distract your attention and have this innocuous conversation like, um, so what do you do for the oh that must be very interesting <laughs> you know and they're ah, scrape 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 do you feel that Mr. Alley you know, oh oh then so um yeah so how are you catching all this MRSA well once you have it it's it's easy and it, it, especially. Notice how he like leans in. No, I'm, I'm leaning actually, oh, leaning in a way. Um, that's a genie's aunt calling him. Uh, there's a, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll tell you about that. Um, I should probably take this. No, you should not take it. Well, it, well when you leave, find out what it's about. I can leave a message. I'll call it after the show. Um, yeah, I know, I'm actually trying to move it away so I can like uh, raise it, um, because it should be raised. But, but once you have it, especially right with, within weeks of having it, you're susceptible to getting it again. And, um, and in fact, it's still in your body after. It was just, it was only gone, I, it was only gone for like, I don't know, a week or two. So it was, it was still fresh in my body. So um, they said that for like, you know, a few months I'm gonna be very like, susceptible to getting it again, so I should know. Now are you highly contagious? Uh, well, I'm not highly contagious, otherwise um, uh, they wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be able they want to let yeah. people come visit you, right? But um, you know, it's not fun, and I we did well. I wanted to celebrate our 500th uh, episode doing something else, but right, we had we were thinking of booking dancing dogs, dancing bears, yeah, and, and some dancing bears, can can <clears throat> can anyone, yeah, strippers, yeah, and the like, but it wasn't meant to be. Mercy, mercy me. So, we're going to take a break, but we'll be right back. And now, a word from our sponsor. To the pew, the holiday. Sick ward edition. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We're in the real emergency room. <laughs> not though. It's not fun and games here. Well, it is now. Now that the pew, the cast of the, and, and uh, star of the pew are here. Although, uh, like the emergency room with the limelight, you are drugged up right now. Um, a, a little bit. They gave me Dilaudid and Oxycontin. Uh, Oxycontin, a little. A little, yeah. a little bit drugged <laughs> up. Well, because they give me a mild dose of oxycodone. Okay, a lot of it. Oh, all right, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I hope that's not all you're gonna take. Where is my oxycodone? So, since it's our 500th anniversary, we, we first of all would not we would be remiss in not thanking some of the people who helped us uh, with the pew over the years, especially our uh, editor uh, Scott McEwen, who without him we probably could not have gone past like the 100th episode oh, with you. Or probably our, our, our 10th episode. Because <laughs> um, yeah, I think he joined, no, I think he joined us around uh, like 50 or, mm -hmm. he joined us early in the history of the Pew and uh, you know came to my house to record, he like edited, I mean he's just really helped a lot. So and thank you Scott. Thank you Scott and Jason Jay. And Jay our, Jason Jay. Did our music for the um, and opening and closing the show. He's also, he also did some of the graphics, the graphics for uh -huh. We'll Be Right Back. Uh -huh. and, uh, that poster that we have on the wall at your house. Mm -hmm. I think he designed that. Which one? The oh, yeah, yeah, he did the, the graphics for that. Yeah, he did that. Yeah. So yeah. thank you, Jason. We really appreciate it. Um, we appreciate your support. Um, Rebecca. Rebecca Walton, who uh, was a stalwart. Big, 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 big star. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, you know, it's unfortunate that we don't see her as much anymore. You know? I think she's stuck in the window somewhere. <laughs> But uh, we do we do see her on social media, and we are thinking of you, Rebecca. Uh, and it's our sincere hope that we'll have you back on the show one day. Um, but we'll send somebody with the WD forty or whatever it is. I mean, without Rebecca, we wouldn't have gone on the road. We wouldn't have gone to the Wow Cafe Theater, and then we would. Oh, that's right. She goes in the right. We wouldn't have. That's how, that's how we met her, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because she was showing us around, and we we're like, that's a drag queen. <laughs> and. Uh, 
you know, she kind of inspired us to go on the road, to go to parks, to go like all over New York and film episodes and, you know, all those skits that she did with us. So uh, we hope you enjoyed them. I mean, a lot of that stuff was just improvised, believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like we put a lot of time and effort into it, actually. <laughs> Uh, we, should, we should also thank Drusilla, who in recent months has uh, helped us uh, produce episodes when you've been sick and when um, you know, we haven't been able to meet. Uh, we couldn't, I could not have done those live episodes from the clubs without Drusilla's help. Uh, so thanks to Drusilla. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, um, where did you, we went through, we went through an outreach. Didn't we? Hey, well, he was one of your hosts. At, yeah, yeah, but I met just for, for the show, as far as the show's concerned. So, you know, thank you very much for that, for all your help. And I see a little, uh, a little basket over here. Well, since it is the Christmas season, I was going to give Michael a... Uh, you were going to give me? I was going to give you a Christmas basket. You were still going to give it to me? I was still going to give it to you. I mean, now it's more like a get well soon basket. Oh, look at that. I, it's the one thing I'm not supposed to be doing right now, but I'll... Uh, well, I, I didn't know you'd be hospitalized when I bought it. Mm, mm, mm. I brought you I some wine this. and cheese and crackers, some sour candies. Uh, some Christmas candy canes, some leftover candy corn that I didn't <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> well, it's from, leftover from Thanksgiving. But you know, it's <laughs> it lasts forever, though. It, no, just for candy, about a month. Candy corn? No, it lasts. No, the Mercer. Oh. Ah. So enjoy. I, th I thought you might. <sighs> I didn't think you'd be able to drink the wine, but I, you know, maybe yeah. you'll, you'll have. I'm not supposed to have wine or dairy for. Oh, so I brought you cheese. Two things that you're not supposed to have. Yeah. <laughs> so, I only do the well, same for you. Well, should I take it back? <laughs> should no. I take it back? No, because I'll be able to enjoy it afterwards. Okay. Do you Esther have a refrigerator? Brought, here? Esther, no, Esther brought me something too. Um, this whole. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> oh, that's nice. A Christmas stocking. Yeah. Sweet. And it's the, it's the thing that got the attention of the male nurse. There's a male nurse, it's so cute. And he was like, he was like oh, where'd you get that? And I said, a friend gave it to me. He said, oh, that looks awfully unique. He said, what, did you have to have that met, handmade? And I said, yeah. And he said, I always like to give ha unique presents to people. I always think it's a nice touch. It is nice. Very cute. Were well, there any gifts in the... Yes. Um, uh, uh, Chinese, Japanese um, Kit Kat bars with um, green tea flavored chocolate. Mm -hmm. And candy canes and um, and uh, chewy sour uh, sweet tarts. Nice. So uh, I was reflecting back on our uh, 500 episodes of the Pew. I can't believe we actually reached 500. It took us four years, was it four years? to reach 500. There was a one year of hiatus when we didn't do any episodes, which was 2016. Um, no, actually. We started in 2014, and then 2015, and then we stopped in 2016. So it's been five years, actually. Like five... Four years, four five years. years. We've, lost. we've been having so much fun, we've lost yeah. time. Um, do you have any idea what, which episodes were your favorites? I like the episodes where we were, um, uh, like the, at the episode behind the box. <laughs> in front of... Um, oh, in front of Love Gun? gun. <laughs> That, that was that was inspired. Yeah, I like those those kinds of episodes, like like impromptu kind of like last minute episodes. Um, I like the, the ones who were on the on the on the run. I guess you'd say those were really fun. I I loved the episodes that we did at Astro Earl Squad. Yeah, you know, I mean, besides the one where um, Rebecca gets stuck in the window, just the tour that Astro gave of the squad. I mean, it was just so fun. In fact, like I mean, I would have loved to have just had that house as a clubhouse. To go to yeah oh, right. after we after we left it was like raided or something yeah like that. they got something. kicked out after yeah. after we left but it was so cool and so fun I mean uh, a little there were aspects of it that were disgusting but um, yeah in the summertime it was a little bit like fester right because the toilets didn't work and you know you were people were peeing in the toilets anyway and, and I wonder what, the, what they were going to do in the winter time um, well. They didn't last the I know, time. I know. They, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I guess in disguise. Uh, so that was really cool. And I love that episode that we did in front of the Lower East Side Gallery where you were having your exhibition where that homeless man sat oh, yeah, with yeah, us yeah, at the yeah, bus yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was quite funny also. 
um, and McDonald's ones. Those were fun, and I really did like our Love Gun episodes too. I did too. They, they showed a kind of a step into uh, uncomfortable territory. It was new for like like uh, filming live in front of an audience. Yeah, I mean, you have no idea how hard that was, but um, I got into it very quickly though. It was difficult in the beginning. And it was difficult to maneuver and like you know everybody drunk and like right, yeah. right, including us. Yeah, uh, it was it, it was hard, but I I think that those episodes might have given the viewers like a, an idea of what it's like to hang out at a bar and party with us. Oh, I hope not. It did. It, but I hope it didn't. It didn't come across as very charming. I don't think on camera. Uh, I thought it, I thought it was fun. No, it was fun doing it, but I didn't think the fun, I don't think. I, I never think that the, the fun of a nightclub translates well into a camera, into um, visuals on a, on a, on a camera. Um, the, the excitement and the, the, the kind of the pal palpable energy doesn't really translate well. I've never seen any footage of a nightclub that, that, really, gave, that really gave you the energy of the nightclub. Uh, I would tend to agree with you. I was recently watching the, uh, the voguing. Uh, reality show My House, mm -hmm. and I really have to commend the people that made that show because they really captured the excitement and the energy of Vogue. I mean, you know, I guess they have really good cameras and really good lights, and they were actually at competitions recording it all, and it's very energetic and really, really a fun show. If you haven't seen it... Is that it, the one with what Finn in it? Um, um, uh, uh, the, the black girl who played Precious. Yeah, um, I think she is in it. Yeah, yes. Um, it's a it's a really good. I was having a conversation with her the other day that if I came back to life, or if I had been born a in a heavy set black woman, <laughs> I would be the actress who played Precious because that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, what else would you do? You know, it's a role made for you. Yeah. In another, right. In another Precious. life. <laughs> Precious. So what else? Five hundred. Oh God, Ernie, please! I don't know. I've got him in the hospital with MRSA. <laughs> and you're all drugged up. Have some MRSA. Have some MRSA on my soul. Anyway, thanks to all of you for watching our five hundred episodes, and uh, we hope you'll keep watching uh, for our next five hundred episodes. Uh, if we even in make, if we make it to that, yeah. See you next time. Bye.